Hi, I'm John from Inkno, and we're a Singapore-based edtech company that develops interactive teaching solutions. In this video, I will talk to you about how to teach an online live class with PowerPoint and ClassPoint. Most of us present our slides when we teach online with tools like Zoom, Google Meet, and Microsoft Teams. But teaching online is a little different than teaching in a classroom where you can easily see and interact with your students. And that is why it's really important for us to share with you how ClassPoint can add that activity part to your online teaching. Okay, let's get started. For illustration purpose, I will be using Zoom and I'm already in the class with a few students. Uh, if you use other video conferencing tools, it will look almost the same. Before we start, let me just open the PPT file I'm going to present and I've already signed into ClassPoint. I'll click share. Uh, I can see a bunch of options. For simplicity, forget about all these and just choose share screen. What you see is what your students will see. Now, let's start presentation by clicking this icon here. Presenting your slides is exactly the same as how you normally do it, except that there are some extra tools provided by ClassPoint to enhance our presentation. And let me start with the laser tool. The laser pointer is provided by Microsoft, but we've made it very accessible. Students can see your laser moving on the slides, which makes it so easy for them to know where to look at. And take one more step further. You should use the pen tools to draw on your slides to explain ideas, take notes, fill in the blanks, and whatever you draw on your slides will be shown on your student screen, which is great. And in my opinion, it's even better than classroom teaching. Because in classrooms, you could face issues like projector screen blurry, not bright enough, or it's just too small for the students at the back rows. And now, all students can see a crystal clear version of your slides plus your annotations right in front of them. About digital inking device, I am using a pen and touch tablet PC, and you can use any similar device such as Surface Pro or the Lenovo and HP 2-in-1 tablets that most MOE school teachers already have. ClassPoint also works seamlessly with any interactive whiteboard or touchscreen displays you may have. If you uh, really don't have a touchscreen uh, tablet device, you can use mouse. It has limited user experience, but for simple highlighting, it'll be just fine. If you're a hardcore whiteboard user like me, you will like the next feature I'm going to cover. ClassPoint has a tool that allows you to insert whiteboard uh, during your slideshow. We don't limit the number of whiteboard pages you can insert. So it's very useful, especially when you are teaching tutorial classes. You can just start a blank PowerPoint and keep adding whiteboard pages. And when I exit slideshow, I can see the whiteboard pages are automatically inserted as new slides for me. And this is one more benefit compared to our classroom whiteboard. There's no need to worry about marker pens, no need to erase, and whiteboard can be automatically uh, saved for us. And there are two other neat features I'd like to mention here. Firstly, you can configure your pens. Choose your favorite colors from the ribbon, and when you go back to slideshow, the pen colors are shown on the toolbar. Now, I can add a blackboard and use white and pen, yellow pens that I just added to draw. And the second feature is under development, but it will be released very soon. We will allow users to define their own whiteboard backgrounds. So, depending on the subject you teach, you can configure a few common backgrounds that you always want to use. So, for example, if you're a math teacher, you may want to add a graph paper as background. And when we release this feature, your class point will be automatically updated and we will also send you a tutorial via email. Interactive quizzing is one of the most important features in ClassPoint because it allows you to get real-time responses from students. And it works both when everyone is in the same classroom and when we are all uh, on the cloud. Especially in the case of online teaching, everyone's got their device, so instead of picking one or two students to answer your questions, we can easily get all of them to participate. So now let's look at how interactive quizzing is done in ClassPoint. We have native integration with PowerPoint, so trust me, the adding question part is extremely easy. If you know how to make slides, you will know how to make interactive questions. So um, I've got a few slides here to, for demonstration purpose. First one is a multiple choice question. Second one is an open-ended question. And the last one, I want my students to derive a formula. Okay, so to enable live response, 
all I need to do is to come here and add question buttons. So first question, add a multiple choice button. Second one, add a short answer button. And the third one, I will add an image upload button. You can move and resize buttons if you want. And here are some customizations you can play with. And that's it. Your slide preparation is done. Now let's go back to slideshow. For students to connect uh, to your presentation and submit live responses, they should go to classpoint.app. And this can be done on any device in any browser. Uh, they will just key in the class code, which is displayed at the top right corner of your slides, followed by the name, and then click join. Once joined, they can follow your slideshow. We have designed a neat feature here too for them to download any slides they think are important. Now let's move on to the MCQ slide. I can uh, first say something about question and when I'm ready to collect my students' responses, I'll click this button. The options will immediately appear on my students' interface. As they choose and submit, we will see the chart doing live update. If I want to go back to look at the slide, I can minimize the window like this. To see uh, the results again, uh, I just click button again. If I want to stop their submission, I can click here. Now this chart gives me a very good overview of my students' understanding of the topic, but I can also go one step further. I can click this bar to see who submitted B. Now if I want, I can let the student explain his choice, either using the chat feature or unmute him so that he can speak. If I'd like to save my students' response so I can review them after my class, I can click save and their uh, results will be saved as a new slide. I won't spend too much time on the other types of questions, but they work almost the same. Students can answer my open-ended questions just by typing in the text box. And for the image upload question, students can either upload a picture or uh, draw on the paper and then take a photo using their tablets or smartphones. And just like in MCQ, all their submissions can be saved as slides for further review. If you want a detailed explanation about these interactive questions, you can refer to my colleague Sarah's Get Started tutorial videos. After you register your ClassPoint account, the tutorials will be sent to you via email. Alternatively, you can always click the Get Started icon on your ClassPoint ribbon in PowerPoint. There are other interactive tools in ClassPoint you can make use of to engage students and make your teaching sessions more productive, such as the quick poll, the pick a name activity, and instant sharing of your slide deck to all connected students. To try them out, please go to classpoint.io and get your copy of ClassPoint. Now, for school subscriptions, we are offering ClassPoint for free for all MOE schools until the 1st of July. So, if you'd like to contact us to do demos on uh, or onboard and train your teachers, you can click here to contact us. All meetings and demos will be conducted through video conferencing. And finally, I'd like to wish we all can have a great experience teaching online. I'm John from Inkno, and thank you so much for watching.